understanding how the Mevo camera and its control device handles the data transmission to get a live stream actually up on the interwebs feels kind of like I'm going on a bear hunt. All the things you have to go over or under or through or around are actually handled by the Mevo and the control device for you. If you know how to log into your account on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch, and you can turn on this camera and phone, you can pretty much get there from here. This is a crash course on how Mevo handles data in a live stream, a traffic flow kind of conversation. Maybe we should call it data for dummies. In this first picture, you're going to see the simplest form of how a Mevo stream can operate. You're talking about starting with a Mevo and a cell phone or a cellular connected tablet. When using the Logitech Mevo app, the single cam app, the Mevo acts both as camera and encoder. This means it's not only taking the video, but it crunches the numbers, so to speak, to encode it and prepare it for delivery to YouTube or Twitch or Facebook, etc. The smartphone or cellular connected tablet adds any overlays or filters and sends the encoded data to the destination. Simple, right? If we add in a wired or wireless router to the mix, the process is remarkably similar. Only now the camera records and encodes, the phone adds the overlays and the filters, then the router handles the traffic to the destination. When we move from the single cam to the multi-cam app though, things change up quite a bit. In this scenario, the camera is just a camera, taking video and sending it in raw form, unencoded form, to the control device. The phone or the tablet then does the number crunching, adds the overlays and filters, and then sends it on to the destination. This can happen either through its own cellular connection or through a wired or wireless router including a MiFi hotspot that is also a wired or wireless router. This is the reason a device running multicam has to have much more powerful specs than one running the single cam app. It's doing all the heavy lifting. The hybrid of this idea, running multicam, is in Mevo's access point mode. In access point, one of your multiple cameras opens up as a hotspot to be connected to by the other cameras. Access point mode will not work with a Wi-Fi network because your control device will connect to the network the Mevo is producing, its hotspot. Once the control device and other cameras are connected to the access point, it will take the video from the other cameras and prep it to be sent to the control device. There is some encoding done here. But I don't get a clear understanding that it's all the encoding. The access point camera then sends what it has to the control device, which will add overlays and filters, and maybe do a little bit more encoding. The magic is really kind of fuzzy here. The control device will then send it to the destination, either via its cellular connection or an Ethernet connection. It just can't do it through Wi-Fi because the control device's Wi-Fi, again, is connected to your access point camera. And no Mevo camera produces an internet connection. We really could go into the weeds at this point and talk about which ports need to be held open through a firewall, but it gets really complicated and that information is on Mevo's help website if you need that kind of info for your stream.